president. No. But, you know, he gave the president some praise. And he said, you know, yeah. and he said, this time we can't knock him this time. He says, we got to be all work together. Well, I think that everyone's starting to realize, and I, and I can't help but wonder how many people that are thinking about running are now sitting back and going, hmm. hmm. You know? I mean, it's, it's it's a tough job, yes. you, you know, not only with regard to the U.S. economy and jobs and all that kind of stuff, but from a global perspective, you know, the world looks to us for answers because we're the richest, you know, yeah. we're the you wealthiest. Know, we are the wealthiest, and everybody expects us to help everybody. I mean, this is the way the United States always been, you know. Yep. There's a, there's a, like, like Obama said, if there's a hurricane, if there's a volcano eruption or anything else, or any kind of disaster, U.S. is always there first. With the Ebola, yeah. with the crisis in Africa now, is it Ebola? What, what are they called? It? Ebola crisis? Yeah. You know, we said 3,000 people there, our own troops, set up yeah. uh, isolation wards and you know, stuff like that. We're always in the forefront of everything, but people hate us because uh, I just don't think we have. Yeah, a but they don't hate us when when it comes to taking money or help or right. you know they don't hate us then. Mm hmm No, they. Well, uh, if they take your money, they don't hate us. Right. They take our money, but the minute we stop giving you money, they hate us. Yep. Yeah, it's, but it's mostly it's our own fault going into Iraq, you know. That's just a waste of, it was a waste of money. Just not worth getting involved in originally. You know, the uh, yeah, which. the Middle East was better off with all the dictators. But you know, say. at the end of the day, in hindsight, are we going to learn from this or are we just going to repeat it again? Of course we're not going to learn. We keep doing the same thing over and over. Yep. And uh, That's the problem. I, bet you, I bet you within four to six months we're gonna have troops back on the ground there, no matter what anybody says, because they're you know a couple of our yeah. And you know what? Even if even if we don't get even if we don't have troops back on the ground this year, we will have troops back on the ground when Obama's no longer president, regardless yeah, of what the next who the next president is. Democratic, Republican, liberal, it's not going to matter. We will end up having troops on the ground. You know, the first Doesn't matter. The first airplane that gets knocked, that shut down, you know, God forbid, or anything like that, everything's going to switch. Yep. yep. You know. Anyway, all right, Ann, listen, I appreciate you calling tonight. It was really nice have talking to you. Have a good night. Have a good night. You and, too. Uh, we'll talk to you uh, next time. Thank you. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, well, I think we're going to call this a night. I am going to go in the... Uh, hmm, what should I do? What should I play? Anything? You know what I think I'm going to do? Instead of playing a peace song, I'm going to play... Uh, a warrior song because that's where we're going towards war and what's uh, what's it called? It's called the warrior song. Well, what happened to it? All right, I guess no warrior song tonight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. Have a good night. And we'll see you on Friday when it's time for the Rebellious Rev and the Duck. Thank you for calling. Uh, whoever called, thank you for listening. We enjoyed having you. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>